I'm Adam Barillet of Crystal Connections and today I wanted to talk to you about a question that a few people have been asking me. They wanted to know what is the difference between Ylang Ylang essential oil and Kananga essential oil because when you look up both oils they've got the same Latin name of Kananga odorata. Well before I answer that question directly I want to talk to you about plant chemistry and I'm going to talk to you about another plant called Cinnamomum camphora. Now this is a big tree that is native to Asia. It grows in places like China and Japan and Taiwan and when you steam to seal the leaves of this tree you get this beautiful soft oil that is high in something called linalol and linalol is found in lavender and magnolia neroli and makes these oils nice and calming and soothing. Now this essential oil has been called ho leaf essential oil and it's in different um, blends and you can get it as a single. Um, one of my favorite blends that is, in, is in doTERRA's Balance because of its calming soothing nature. Now a couple of centuries ago someone got some cinnamon camphora trees that's their Latin name and took them to Madagascar and planted them there where they also did really well. They flourished but because they're in a different climate and a different environment the chemistry of the tree started to change. When we steam distilled the leaves from that same tree but planted in Madagascar we get an essential oil that has a, pretty much no linalol but lots of eucalyptol. This essential oil is sometimes referred to as Ravent Sara and is found in different respiratory blends and things like that. So do you see how a tree in different environments produces different essential oils? Now Kananga and Ylang Ylang. So Ylang Ylang is normally found in places such as Madagascar whereas Kananga can be in other parts of the world, maybe other parts of Madagascar, even Indonesia and here the chemistry changes between the two. So Ylang Ylang has this beautiful kind of soft aroma and that type of thing and you will find Kananga has a similar one but one of the great things about Kananga is it has more of something called beta carophyllene. Now don't worry about what beta carophyllene is so much but just know that it's what makes different essential oils such as black pepper and copa iba absolutely amazing. So Kananga essential oil has more beta carophyllene in it. So why do we need both oils? Why do you need Ylang Ylang and Kananga in your collection? Well let me give you another example that might illustrate that. I want to talk about cinnamon bark essential oil and cashew essential oil. Two different oils but they smell similar. What I've found is uh, cinnamon bark essential oil has a few therapeutic more, uh, benefits over cassia. Has a few, the chemistry is slightly differently uh, um, and, and slightly more beneficial. So I would use cinnamon bark for different things for um, benefiting my he health whether I'm making roller balls or diffuser blends or that type of thing. Cassia essential oil has that same cinnamon kind of aroma but is cheaper to produce and is slightly sweeter in aroma to cinnamon bark and so I'd use that if I was doing diffuser blends just to make my home smell nice and homely or sweet or if I was using it in baking or cooking and flavoring. So cinnamon bark and cassia smell similar but different uses. In this example cinnamon bark is your kananga and cassia is your alang alang and so I would use uh, Kananga for more therapeutic benefits because it's got more beta carophyllene in it. I would use Ylang Ylang for more flavorings and more sweet scents and you will find the scent of Ylang Ylang is slightly more floral, floral and sweet compared to Kananga. So do you need both Kananga and Ylang Ylang? The answer is yes. One for the therapeutic benefits and one for the sweet smell. Of course they also have deep different metaphysical properties and you can check out my other videos on my YouTube channel that explores them more in depth. I'm Adam Barillet of Crystal Connections. Blessed be.